Have you ever wondered what it would be like to record your dreams? Hopefully I can lay some of those questions to rest. So for this 30 day challenge, I decided to record every dream that I had in a journal. I had a friend that was really into dream interpretation and I've talked to other people who were really intrigued by it. It's a psychological topic that's always been of interest to me. So I thought, you know, what better way to get into it than to just take a look at my own dreams. I didn't always journal my entire dream. I tried to just write down enough to jog my memory and oftentimes even just a few words would bring the whole dream back. Sometimes, however, a few words just leave me really confused and I'd be left thinking, you know, what the heck <laughs> does that mean? <laughs> but it was, it was an interesting challenge for sure. Uh, it would get a little bit meta at times uh, since dream journaling was on my mind. I would dream about dream journaling sometimes and sometimes I would dream that I had journaled about a dream that I had in fact not journaled about. So, so there was some of that weirdness. Uh, and when I would wake up and being that kind of disoriented, you know, half awake state, like, oh, but I, I have to write this down or whatever and <laughs> jot down a few words there to try to capture them. But I did capture a lot. In 30 days, I captured 76 dreams, which is just crazy. Some nights I would get three or four, you know, I'd wake up in the night, I'd write something down and then I would go back. I'd be writing in the dark because, you know, I didn't want to wake myself up with bright lights. So um, yeah, I got good at writing in the dark. If your, if my pen died, I <laughs> didn't know it. I'd be trying to read the imprints uh, that I'd pressed on the page. So that was kind of an amusing uh, thing that I hadn't thought of uh, along the way as well. But yeah, it was really intriguing. I, I won't say that I got a lot of really cool subjective insights about myself. I think I just came to the conclusion that dreams are really arbitrary and random and that it may be dangerous to place too much significance on them. I don't want to say that they're meaningless. I think meaning is, is, you know, it's so personal to the individual. So if you can look at your dreams and you can get some insight there and you can look at yourself or a situation in a new way, then I think that that's really cool. But I think it is kind of weird to say, oh, I saw a panda, which I did. Awesome dream, by the way. Uh, and pandas mean blank and therefore blank. And, and, and this just seems wrong to me, right? What a panda means to me might be very different than what a panda means to you. To me, a panda means we just roll uh, because pandas roll. So when I think about pandas, I think about being flexible and adaptable and accepting whatever comes. But other people might say, no, pandas represent luck or something else. So again, I think it's a subjective experience, not an objective one. But for me, it was a fun and a cool one. And even though I didn't maybe learn a lot about myself, it was just intriguing to see how random and all over the map my dreams were, who would show up, oftentimes friends and family, but sometimes people from the very distant past were there in my dreams, somebody from elementary school that maybe I haven't thought of in 30 years or something pops in. So never quite knew what I was gonna get. This is not one that I stuck with. When the 30 days were up, I said, you know what? 76 dreams was enough for me to realize that um, my pursuit for truth and growth probably isn't going to lie primarily in my dreams. And also, of course, I see dreams, I see sleep rather as being rather sacred. And so anything that compromises sleep a little bit, even if it's just, oh, I'm thinking about having to record my dreams, uh, I'd rather just get as much and as quality sleep as I possibly can without compromising it at all. So for me, that's kind of a risk with dream journaling. So I'd probably give this one about an eight out of a 10, eight out of 10. It's really intriguing and interesting, but um, yeah, it does compromise sleep a little bit. And again, I didn't get quite as many insights as maybe I thought I might, but I highly invite you to check it out, see what's going on in your head, see what your nightlife is like. You know, typically I probably remember a few dreams a month. And again, I got 76 journaling about it. So it is a great way to capture those dreams that you got to get instantly or they're gone. Thanks for tuning into this one. I invite you all to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about your dreams down below. That's something I found doing this challenge is when people find out you're, you're paying attention to dreams, everybody has a dream and they want to tell you about it. So it can make for some fun or interesting conversation as we all kind of share those weird adventures uh, with each other. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.